In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a 19 by 13 inch layout in Photoshop that contains one inch margins all the way around and four rectangles for images. In Photoshop, you're going to go to File, New. When the dialog box comes up, you want to enter the name, in this case, period, last name, first name, and then the name of the assignment. Start out by checking that your width is in inches and enter 19 inches. For your height, you want 13 inches. For your resolution, you want 300 because this is a print assignment. Click OK. When your document pops up, the next thing that you want to do is turn on the grid. This is accomplished by clicking Control Quotation. Then you want to turn on your rulers. Control R will do that. Grab your arrow tool and click inside the top ruler and drag it so it is one inch from the top. Do the same thing all the way to the right, one inch. Do that on the left and do that on the bottom. Next, you want to mark the vertical and horizontal centers of your document. The document measures 13 by 19 inches. So the vertical halfway point is going to be at 9.5. And the horizontal halfway point is going to be at 6.5 inches. Once you have your vertical and horizontal centers, you want to mark the one inch marks surrounding those points. Go to the left side, click and drag so that you are at a half inch to the left of the center. And again, half inch to the right of the center. This marks your center one inch. Get rid of the center mark. And now you have that center one inch margin. Do the same thing for your horizontal line. Click in the ruler, drag so it's a half inch above that line, and another guide a half inch below. Now go ahead and remove uh, the center guide by clicking and dragging. You now have a document that has four rectangles with one inch margins all the way around. Each of the four rectangles in your document measures eight inches wide by five inches tall. When you are ready to place images in these rectangles, crop your images to measure eight inches by five inches at a resolution of 300. Thank you for watching and good luck with your project. Don't forget to save your project as a Photoshop file.